dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my hearty greetings to you all in the beloved name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Today we have chosen the verse of the Bible for our meditation is the prophet book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 20. Come, my people, enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourself for a little while until the free has passed by. My sisters and brothers in Christ, here the prophet Isaiah has told us even 2,800 years back, he prophesied the present situation. Here, clearly it has told and warned us, Come, my people, enter your chamber and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourself for a little while until the fury has passed by. Younger has passed by. What is the meaning of this? Why we have to shut our doors and we have to hide inside our house, my beloved? We have to think a little bit why this situation has come right now. Clearly it has been revealed manifested and prophesied that we have to enter our chambers and shut our doors, shut our doors and enter into our room, enter into our house. Why? For this words and prophecy, the prophet Nagum has clearly, clearly he has instructed and warned us very, very clearly. Oh, dear brothers and sisters, if we go to the prophecy book of Nahum, chapter 2, verse 1. What is the prophecy here, verse 1, chapter 2 of the prophecy of Nahum? What the prophet Nahum says? Dear brothers and sisters, here he says, The scatterer has come up against you. The scatterer has come against you. And also in the King James Version, the prophet book of Nagum clearly says in chapter 2, verse 1, He that dasheth in pieces is come up before thy face. He that dasheth in pieces is come up before thy face. Keep the munition, watch the way, make thy loins strong, fortify thy power mightily. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Clearly he has told us, the scatterer, the person who is scattering the people or the family or the parents of son or the nations, whoever, whatever, the scatterer is going to scatter. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, now we see the people are scattering here and there. Countries are scattering here and there. We are all inside our house. We locked our doors. We are sitting in our house, in our room. So here the scatterer, yes, the scatterer has come against us. What we have to do here, 
in Nahum verse 1. Clearly he has warned and revealed us that we have to protect ourselves. We have to protect ourselves. Clearly he has informed us that we have to protect ourselves. And also he has clearly says, watch the road. Watch the road. Oh, we have to watch our road because the scatterer has come against us. The scatterer, in what form he has come? As a disease, as a virus disease, or as a dark disease, or a particular individual person, or a nation against us. A nation has come against us. Any one of these. So we have to protect ourselves. We have to sit and stay inside of our house and we have to protect our nations also. So he has clearly told us, watch the road. Watch the road. We have to very carefully, we have to watch the road. And also dress for battle. Clearly, the prophet book of Nahum says, chapter 2, verse 1, dress the battle, dress for the battle. Oh, we have to dress, we have to dress special dress for the battle. We have to dress a special mask for us, special mask for us. Not only with that, we have to we are special gloves for our hands. Dear sisters and brothers, oh, clearly he has told us, he has come against us. He has come against our face. He has come against our face. Dear brothers and sisters, now we should not touch our nose, we should not touch our eyes, we should not touch our mouth, we are getting clear instructions. We should not touch all these things, we should not touch our face, but the scatterer has come against our face, dear brothers and sisters. And also the Prophet clearly says, that collect all your strength. You collect all your strength. Now we lost, according to the verse, we can understand. We have lost our immunity power. We have lost our immunity power. So clearly he has told us that we have to collect all our strength. We have to eat some good, strengthful food to increase our immunity against this scatterer, whether the scatterer is a disease or virus disease or an individual man or a country. So we have to eat immunity to fight, to give strength to our blood cells. Dear brothers and sisters, in Christ, oh, what kind of terrible prophecy is here. So he is clearly instructing that we should careful, very careful for this uh, scatterer. And also the verse clearly says, the shield of his mighty man is red. The shield of his mighty man is red. What is the red? The symbol of the scatterer is red. Oh, the symbol of the scatterer is red. Oh, dear brothers and sisters, we have to be very careful. What is the meaning of the red? Maybe his face, maybe his flag, maybe his country. 
we don't know. But they should be very careful about the red. Dear brothers and sisters and Christ, we have to be very careful of this uh, wonderful prophecy. And also, it has been clearly declared that his chariot come with flashing metal. The scatterer's chariot come with flashing metal. What is the meaning of this? Maybe his missiles or virus or laser, whatever it may be. We don't know. But the prophet clearly prophesied that this thing will happen. And also, clearly he says, spears are brandished. Spears are brandished. Maybe tanks, whatever. He means the name of spears. And also the chariots race madly through the streets. The chariots race madly through the streets. Maybe the missiles race on the streets of the sky. And also the prophecy clearly says the missiles will rush to and from the squares. Maybe cities, on the cities. And also the prophecy clearly says the gleam like torches and dot like lightnings. They gleam like torches and dot like lightning. It will spread like lightning. It will spread like lightning. What is the thing spreading like lightning? Some kind of disease. Nowadays, virus disease. So we should be very careful. We should be very, very, very careful. The, the verse 5 clearly says, the siege tower is set up. The hiding place is set up. We have to hide ourselves. The verse 6 clearly says, the palace melts away. The palace melts away. The kings and the queens of this earth will be deceased. The kings and the queens of this earth will be deceased. And also he clearly says, this world, he mentioning as Nineveh. Now the world we are living is just like Nineveh, was like a pool, beautiful and peaceful pool. But now it is not. People are running away. If we say, halt, halt, wait, wait, stand, stand, no, they cry. We cry, but no one stand, no one wait, nobody turn their face back. They are running and running. This is the thing happening now, dear brothers and sisters. This scatterer, in what way he has entered into our body, in what way he has entered into our house, in what way he has entered into our city, in what way he has entered in our nation or country. Dear brothers and sisters, just think about this wonderful and warning prophecy. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, here the verse 9 clearly says and prophesied that plunder the silver, plunder the gold, there is no end of the treasure or of the wealth of all precious things. Here we see the meaning of 
this verse is exploit or steal every or take away every silver and gold there is no limit for expensive silver and gold here we can understand the scatterer now has come inside in the form of the trade or in person and he wants to take everything all the silver and the gold all the treasures of the countries he wants to take it away to his place the verse 10 clearly says desolate desolation and ruin hearts melt and knees tremble anguish is in all loins all faces grow pale desolate desolation and ruin hearts melt and knees tremble anguish is in all loins all faces grow pale here the meaning of this prophecy the scatterer will ruin and destroy everything like human bodies economy of the nations and take all the treasures of the country of the countries by the trade this is the meaning of all these things and also here their hearts melt and the knees tremble oh in this victimized countries people's hearts are melt and their knees tremble because they don't know what to do they don't know what to do their hearts are broken they are all shivering when the lesser waves come body saved by the special dress bodies will be saved by special dress but the faces will burn that's what here clearly says that all faces grow pale dear brothers and sisters these are all living prophecy so we have to wait and see and also verse 11 clearly says where is the lions den where is the cubs were with none to disturb where is the lions den where is the cubs were with none to disturb this means where is the king of the earth where is the first man of the air where is he oh he is defeated he says he will say the first man of the earth is defeated where is he now he will challenge and also verse 12 clearly says the lion that means the scatterer tore in of forgis cubs the lion the scatterer will tore in of forgis through the person or the disease or the virus will attack tore the throats of the human beings so now what is the problem with the throats of the human being the scatterer attack first and tore the throat of the human beings he the scatterer filled his caves with prey and his dens with torn flesh the scatterer filled his caves with prey and his dens with torn flesh the scatterer tore the throats of the human beings and killed by this way and his technology he earned huge treasures like money silver 
and gold, and he kept all these things in his bank's cave. And as there is no place in the banks, he kept rest of the treasures in the big godowns. This is the meaning of this prophecy. The scatterer filled his caves with pre and his dens with torn flowers. Finally, my brothers and sisters, the prophecy clearly says that the God Almighty, who is omnipresence, omniscience, and omnipotent, He will come to save His own children, and He will save the human race. The Bible clearly says, the prophet Nahum clearly prophesies, at this time the Almighty God will come down and He will save His own children, and He will save the human race. Dear brothers and sisters, the verse 13 clearly says that, Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts, and I will burn your chariots in smoke, and the sword shall devour your young lions. I will cut off your pre from the earth, and the voice of your messengers shall no longer be heard. Dear brothers and sisters, what is the meaning of this thing? Now the wrath, anger of God has started against the scatterer or the disease or virus, whatever it may be. The Almighty God is only Almighty. He is God of army. Our God is not only, the Almighty God is not only Almighty, but He is God of army also, the Bible clearly says. Now, He is going to burn all of His vessels or weapons or missiles or whatever it may be. He is going to destroy by smoke. In other words, or fire. Here it has clearly mentioned the God Almighty will destroy by smoke, clearly says. And also the Almighty clearly prophesies through Prophet Nahum that this virus may be destroyed by smoke. There are two types of meaning. First one is, this scatterer means the disease or virus will be destroyed by the smoke. Smoke means hot steam inhaling, it will be destroyed. This is first meaning. The Almighty God will destroy the scatterer by smoke. I will burn your chariot in smoke. The sword shall devour, swallow. Clearly the prophecy says, my dear God. And also, the other meaning of I will burn your chariot in smoke means it may be the scatterer's vessel, weapon, Especially, chariot means the vehicle. Vehicle means a ship or a plane, war plane, whatever it may be. So, it has been clearly said in prophecy, I will burn your chariot in smoke. Dear brothers and sisters, we need not worry about anything, because the Almighty God is our Creator, He is our 
creator and also the verse 13 clearly says i will cut off your prey from the earth and the voice of your messengers shall no longer be heard dear brothers and sisters in christ here the prophecy clearly says that our god almighty will cut off his prey his prey means his income through the trade or business whatever it may be from the earth and the voice of his messengers shall no longer be heard what is the meaning of this i will cut off your prey that's called the income from the earth and the voice of your messenger shall no longer be heard dear brothers and sisters the meaning is all the countries on this earth will cut off all of his business the scatterers business and connections and separate him from the air so because of this scattering business all the countries will separate from the earth maybe by his business or trade whatever it may be so god's children will be succeeded the yeah. dear blowers by this way the virus war will come to end because the whole earth will separate dear blower fear not our god almighty says fear not i am with you i will be with you i will not neither leave you nor forsake you i will save you i will save you i will be with you i will bless you the almighty god is with us god is still on the throne and he will remember his own he will come and save his own children his own people the human race my beloved sisters and brothers in christ will you accept our lord jesus christ as your personal savior now because this present situation will go the salvation will come the almighty god will save you you come to your conclusion today you take a decision final decision today whether you have to live in this world with god almighty or without god you have to decide today whether you have to live with lord jesus christ who has come to this world to save you to bless you to redeem you and forgive your sins you decide may god bless you let's have word of prayer our gracious and heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful blessed time we thank you for all your redemption salvation and forgiveness lord we commit our lives in your omnipotent hand we commit our family in your omnipotent hand we commit our parents children wife husband everybody in your omnipotent hand lord bless them redeem them bless them more and more and forgive them be with them guide them protect i ask all these things in the precious name of our lord 
and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if you want to contact me or if you need any prayer help, kindly contact me at any time through my telephone and email. My telephone number is double nine six two zero eight zero two one four. Another number nine eight double one seven nine four zero zero four. My email ID is Rao Jayasing at yahoo.com or -E J A Y A S I N G H at yahoo.com. May God bless you all.